What you mean, cereal? No, I got some oatmeal. They got that prison shit. Nigga, you know what it is. That look like the chunky oatmeal. That don't look like no Quaker. That don't look like no Quaker oatmeal. That don't look like no Quaker oats. That look like the chunky. Nah, this that whole this that whole food shit. It's that whole, whole food. food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the shit with the seeds and all that other fly stuff in it. What up? Not much. What's up with you, man? I'm good, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm good, man. What we doing? I'm watching you. Yeah. Um, all right, somebody just came in. Shout out to whoever came in first. Ayo, Ayo China Mac. So you out on the West Coast now. I am. How you liking it? Shit, it's sunny, bro. <laughs> What's the weather I like? like it. The weather is nice today. It was raining for a minute, but then it's nice now. And um, you know, it's just more opportunities. You know what I'm saying? It's just some things, you know, it's just more things to get into out here for me. Should, should right, we do so it this listen. way? So listen, man, right. I want to get into it, man. I I, I wanna yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I was trying to see because the comments is coming like in the way. They're blocking you, right? The comments and shit. Yeah, I think we got to turn it this way. But it's not letting me turn it that way. Yeah, it's not letting me turn it either. So listen, man. So uh, you grew up, where you was born at? Uh, I, was grew, I, I was born in Brooklyn. What hospital? I was born in Brookdale Hospital. In Brooklyn, in Brown, in Brownsville, Brooklyn. Brownsville. So, so y'all lived out in Brownsville, or you was just born over there? I was just born there. I don't know why my mom was what she was doing. Now nah, we wasn't living over there, but um, I don't know what my mom was doing over there. But yeah. All right, then. So you grew up in, but you grew up in Manhattan. I grew up in Manhattan. Yep. Yeah. Like, Chinatown. Chinatown, but then I grew up in. Like Queens and Brooklyn, both like three, like three, because you know what I'm saying. Like as a kid, my mom was young, so she, she didn't understand English. So like she was working, and she kept on like leaving me here, leaving me there, like bringing me. You know what I'm saying? So I really grew up all over. You were staying with family members when you wasn't with her, or you what you was doing? Whoever would take my badass, and a lot of people ain't want to take me. You know what I'm saying? Because I was bugging. So, you know, it what was, was up with school? It was friends, huh? What well, what was up with school? With elementary school, you you, you was on elementary. You went to elementary school. Yeah, I went to a bunch of elementary schools. Though I kept on going. Like I said, like I I'll go to elementary school in Chinatown. Then I'd be in elementary school in 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 Queens. Then I'd be in elementary school in Brooklyn. I just kept on bouncing around. So 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 there was no real stability. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Now you go to you going. I was watching your live last night with my man. The, um, I guess it was a Korean dude. Who's oh. nah? He's Chinese. He's Chinese. Okay, that was a dope interview. By the way, you did a good job on that. Thank you, bro. So, so listen, so listen. You go into the system at the age of eight. Yeah. Um. What was that like? Shit. It was like a whole new world. It was like, you know what I mean? It was uh it was it was just like because it was very different than what I already knew. You know what I'm saying? It was um, you know, even though I lived in all these places, my mom kept me sheltered as a kid. She ain't really, you know, they never let me go outside. I wasn't really going outside with people. So I I be in Brooklyn, but I just be in the house all day, not not going outside, not getting, you know, whatever. So it was really different. And then when I went in there, it was just like a whole different culture that I didn't know about. You know what I'm saying? It was a bunch of black kids there. And like, you know, like I said on the Matt Hoffman interview before, like my grand like my grandparents and all of them, they didn't they didn't allow me to really hang out with black kids at that time. They would like kind of tell me not to, you know what I'm saying? But then um once I got into that that place when I was eight years old, that was all that it was everybody was black so um it was a whole new experience i never really like you know I, that was my first time really 
you know, being around like a, a whole nother culture like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, trying to back, I know some of the niggas that you was down with. You know, I bet you up in the Bronx. I know a lot of the niggas you was and you did time in New York State Prison. Yeah. What you did? You did a dime? Yeah, I did 10. So, and you was around mostly niggas in there, mostly brothers and Spanish, Puerto Rican niggas, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, I know, I met some of the brothers. I don't know. Let me let me change that. I know some of the dudes that you was down with. I know one in particular. Powerful. Yeah, shout out to Powerful. So you was you was you was down with some real killers, man. Yeah. Now, you the only Chinese. Was it a lot of Chinese niggas in New York State Prison? Nah, not at all. Probably like the most the most Asian people that was with me when I was locked up. They that was in Sing Sing, and it was probably like maybe seven of us. Like Good a job. jail. Was, a jail with like three thousand people. There was only seven, seven Asian people in it. Did y'all did y'all click up and chill together, or niggas? They was niggas was just kind of whoever they deal with. They deal with, you know. I mean, they clicked up, but you know, I was kind of in there, but then I wasn't really with them. Like you know, what I'm saying, like I would just go and do my thing. Yeah. So you 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 um. Uh... You grew up around a lot of black people. You feel com you feel comfortable around black people. Yeah. And I know this because I know some of the niggas that you was down with. Now, let me ask you this. With the with the whole Asian and black thing, you know, I see you and you really, you know, you really. And you sincere with it. You really trying to push for some understanding between the cultures. Um, yep. Do you do you think you making any headway with that? Do you do you do you think? Uh, I I think I am. I know I am. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it might not, you know, nothing happens overnight. You know what I'm saying? But I de definitely know I am because the only reason why I say I know I am is because this type of conversation ain't really been had. So whether people like me or not, whether people are attacking me or agreeing with me, it's still a conversation. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just because, you know, just because a group of people might not understand what I'm saying, might not agree with what I'm saying, what I'm saying is logic, though. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of people that are not going with logic, and they just siding with their emotions, or they siding with whatever prejudices they have. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of people that don't have those prejudices, too. So when I'm saying this stuff, there's a lot of people watching that might disagree, but then there's also going to be a lot of people that be like, you know what? He's right. But the thing is, no Asian people, like, we never, we haven't been having this type of conversation for people to kind of be swayed, to be like, you know what? They right. You know what I'm saying? Or he right. So I think it's just important right now just to have a conversation, whether people like me, whether people are attacking me, whether people agree me, agree with me, whether people, it doesn't matter. As long as they see this conversation and people are looking at the logic, you know what I mean? And, you know, that's all um, that I think. So I do, I do think that it's, 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 I do think that it's working. You know what I mean? I, I don't know how much it's working, but I definitely think it's working. Now, you, did you finish, did you finish high school? I got my GED. No formal college education, none of that. I mean, I, I had college education in, in, in Sing Sing, like in Auburn and Sing Sing. I, I got, when I was locked up, I took the college program they had available there. And this is this 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 is why I say that because you're very articulate, right? You speak well, and you know how to put words together. You know how to put your thoughts together, and um, you know you're very articulate with getting your message across, and that comes across. You're charismatic. You got the charisma. You can, and on your other channel, Mac Eats, you show that your range, 
you can flow and adapt to pretty much any group. You with the Samoans, you with the niggas in Compton, you with the 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 New Orleans. You know, what do you attribute that skill set that you have to? Um, shit, just being being exposed to things that I wasn't comfortable with, like just being exposed to things that you know, outside of my comfortability, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like I said, I went out my first time into the, the the juvenile system. It was a whole new experience for me. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, after going there, then I, you know, go back in the Asian community and that's a whole nother experience now. You know what I'm saying? And then I got to go over here with, so it's just all these different things that I have to always, I have to be a chameleon. You know what I'm saying? Like I have to figure out a way to use what I got to kind of like, you know, blend in with, or not even blend in, but just like, you know, uh, uh, just, just to be able to, um, coincide with whatever environment that I'm in. And I've been in so many different environments, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, I had to figure out how to do that. You know what I mean? And it was a part of survival. You know what I mean? And growing up in New York, you had to hang and, and get with Spanish kids too, with Puerto Ricans. Yeah. Different- Right, you know what I'm saying? I had to do that, you know. I, I shit. I don't know. I mean, white kids. I, white. Listen, my when I was young, you, you ever heard of Machine Gun Johnny? No. So, so Machine Gun Johnny is the guy. It was the leader of the Flying Dragons, right? He the one. He the one that my father told on. You know what I'm saying? And he was my uncle. So when my father got locked up, my mom called Machine Gun Johnny. Or as a matter of fact. Machine Gun Johnny called my mom, and this was this was before that it was out that my father had told. So my mom, my, my Machine Gun Johnny called my mom was like, "Yo, what you need? Like, you know what I'm saying? He locked up or whatever. So what you need? What 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 can I? How can we help?" And she was like, "Well, this kid is out of control. Like, I can't, I can't watch him. Nobody wants to watch him. Like, I need, talk I need about to, you. yeah, talking about me." So Machine Gun Johnny was like, "Okay." Um, I know somebody that uh, I know somebody that was um, that was uh, that was you know I know some I know somebody that lives upstate somewhere a white family you know what I'm saying and um, I'm gonna put you over there you know what I'm saying so my mom sent me all the way up there somewhere it was like a couple hours away and it was a farm and it was a bunch of white people you know what I mean. And uh, I just didn't. Chinese nigga up there. Huh? I'm the only Chinese person there. The whole school, the whole school was white. You know what I mean? It was all farmers. We used to farm cows and milk cows and sweep like feces out the gutter, like manure out the gutter, stuff, sapping trees and stuff like that. So th- then I was exposed to white culture. You know what I'm saying? We was eating rhubarb and shit. Like, I ain't know what the hell that was. So. You know, all of that has shaped me into what I am now, like be able to just be able to, um, uh, 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 you know, like mesh in with different cultures and different people, you know. Hey, hey, hey yo, Mac, do you think that, and, and I've heard you talk about this and I've heard other people talk about the Asian culture, the Asian people, just their culture. They're just by nature who they are. They're a more reserved, keeping to themselves type of people. Do you think that there's a um, that other cultures and you know I'm a foundational Black American and keeping in what you like to you know talk about with the Black and the Asian thing. Do you think that we as a people misconstrue? Um, and take the wrong way, the Asian community's natural uh, posture, and and take it like it's a diss or you know what I'm saying? Am I saying? Am I? Am I? Yeah. No, I understand exactly what you're saying. You're basically asking if our culture, how our our culture is, um, and I think uh, y'all, are, I think the Asian community's like that with every other culture on the planet, not just right. Us, right? You're, you're, you're saying you're basically saying that. Do you do I think that um, people might misinterpret, you know, the way our culture is, 
you know, and kind of and kind of think that it's something else when it's not that. And it's just, you know, absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Uh, the Asian, you got to look at how Asian people are, you know what I mean? Throughout the, the history, Asian people, that's just how our culture is. We are more quiet. You know what I'm saying? We don't talk loud. We, we don't we don't like the exposure. We don't like, you know, we, we you know, what I mean, we we just do what we do and we stay low. And and and, you know, um, that's how we are. We don't like to meet new people. We're not we're not really outgoing. That's just how the culture has put has instilled into us. You know what I'm saying? And. Um, and when you go into the black culture, the foundational black American black culture is different. It's totally different. It's like the opposite. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's more, you know, more, more outgoing. You know what I mean? More like, you know, just in your face type. Like, yo, not not in your face in a in a what you would call a way, but like, you know, what's up? Boom, 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 boom. Just more like, you know, outspoken and more um, I wouldn't say aggressive, but Another word that kind of sim- that 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 is a synonym to that. You know what I mean? A little more like that, aggressive. You know what I mean? But not in a bad way. But just like more like you know, uh, 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 more forthcoming. You know what I'm saying? And Asian people are the the complete opposite. So what I think is when Black people see that, they think that direct. Yeah, they think that. Oh, you know, this person think he better than me. You know what I'm saying? Because you Come know, on, he it not comes off as a diss almost. Yeah, he he not looking at me when he speak or like, you know what I mean? Or he looking at the floor or like, you know, he don't even like, like he just walk right past me and don't even say nothing or don't even say good morning or nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it's, 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 it, but it's just different culture. Like, it's not that they don't really fuck with you as they're doing that to themselves. Like I walk past Asian people. They don't look at me either. They don't know me from a hole in the wall, but they're not looking at me either. They don't, you know what I'm saying? I look, I say something to them and they'll just be like this, like, you know what I mean? So you've been with me in Chinatown. You see, I try to pull up the people. They just looking at me kind of weird right. and stuff. Right. You feel me? And it's, and it's not about, you know, the skin complexion is just how their culture, they're culturally raised, like just to be more like, you know, in like, you know, not to talk to strangers. Introverted. Yeah, introverted. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely think because of that, you know, that that lack of understanding of the culture, people may take that as like, you know, they think they're better or they just, you know, racist or like, you know, whatever that is. You know what I mean? Now, 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 China Mac is the antithesis to that. China Mac is not reserved. He's not introverted. He, you don't fit the mold of the 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 typical Asian at all. Do you do you get acceptance or blowback from the Asian community? And I don't mean like the young niggas, the gang thing. I'm talking about the down the middle, run of the mill, straight lace, middle class. Asian culture, uh, do they embrace you or do they look at you as some kind of like outcast, black sheep? I'm definitely an outcast. Definitely an outcast. Definitely a black sheep. You know what I mean? Definitely, you know, like I was saying this yesterday to the bro. I didn't say it on camera. I said it off camera. But when I first came home, I was rapping. You know what I'm saying? I came out and I was rapping and 90% of my audience was black. And like in Spanish, you know what I'm saying? That no Asian people was really jacking me because it was just too much for them. Like it was just they didn't understand that. But the black people and the Spanish people, they jacked it. They was like, okay, this is you know what I mean. I I was relatable to them, but to a lot of Asian people, I wasn't relatable because you know I was just too aggressive, too like you know just too rough. Like you know what I'm saying? So um, but so but but that was before the whole you know, Asian hate and like speaking up for the Asian people, right? Once I started doing that, I kind of, I, 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 um, just lost a good amount of my initial fan base. You know what black I'm saying? My initial, yeah. My black fan base. I kind of, I, I, I lost like a good amount of that. You know what I mean? Because it was just, it came off to a lot of people like, you doing too much now. Like you, all right, we fuck with you, but you over here trying to put this all in my face, like Asian, Asian, Asian stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, um, 
I picked up a lot of new Asian fans, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't really, they just was messing with me because of what I did, you know what I mean? And they they wasn't really messing with my content, you know what I mean? They really wasn't messing with who I am and my thoughts and my music and just the way I carry myself. It was just a lot different for them, you know what I'm saying? So I found myself in a weird spot where it's like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, I just kind of gave up all of this and kind of like, you know, took on this, but this don't really fuck with me like that. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of like right in the middle. Like there's a lot of black people now that support me. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot of Asian people that support me, but then there's a lot of black people that don't fuck with me. And there's a lot of Asian people that don't fuck with me. So I'm kind of right in the middle. Like I'm, I kind of created this like weird little island for myself. You know what I'm saying? Do you care, China Mac, who fuck with you who don't? I don't. I mean, sometimes it's like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it, 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 it's, it feels like I'm by myself, you know what I'm saying? And for the most part, I am by myself. You are. I am by myself, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know, I feel like it's just I, I can't conform and be somebody else. I can't, I can't not say what I want to say or not speak what I want to speak when I feel like it's my truth. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't care who doesn't like it and who leaves and who doesn't because at the end of the day, it's not about money for me. It's about leaving a legacy. It's about doing something that I believe in. It's about all of that. So I'm not broke. I'm not like crazed. Like, you know what I mean? But I could have been in a lot better position if I would have just stuck on the script, stuck to the script with anything. You know what I'm saying? But because I don't believe that you know, money, money doesn't, money doesn't control me. You know what I'm saying? And I try my best not to let money control me. Like, especially if it's matters that I believe in, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and yeah, man, that, that's, that's just how I live my life, you know? And I feel like at the end of it, you know, what really makes me happy and what really is going to make me, you know, make my legacy is all the things that I didn't do, not all the things that I did do. So, so China Mac. Your self confidence, where does it come from? Having nobody to turn to. Like, I didn't have anybody to go to. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times I just had to, I had to do it myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to figure it out. Like, you know, in terms of uh, just like, you know, so. That's where my confidence comes from, just being just being in positions where I didn't have no friends or family and I just had to really be like my I had to I had to figure it out myself. So I think I, I realized that, you know, being put in that position where you really just you really by yourself, you have to trust yourself. You have to learn how to believe in yourself. You mm. have to learn how to have that relationship with yourself. You mm. know what I'm saying? And if you don't have that relationship with yourself, then, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? So I had to learn that very early, you know. China Mac's self-perception. How does China Mac perceive himself? Um, I perceive myself as uh, uh, a fighter, bro. You know what I'm saying? I see myself as a fighter, as a survivor, you know what I mean? As a person of uh, uh, that stands on more room principle, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's how I see myself. Shout out to my nigga RH with a super chat. China Mac, is China Mac spiritually, is China Mac a good person or is China Mac not a good person? I'm a good person. Um, Why? I, at least, Why? Because, um, because I put. I, I don't. It's not only about me. You know what I'm saying? And 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 you know that that's what makes a person a good person to me. A person that is able to you know look at how what they do affects other people and not just themselves. I think a bad person is a person that's just worried about themselves and only like, you know, 
worried about their personal gains um and 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 selfish in the regards of other people you know what i'm saying uh uh to me i feel like i'm not like that you know i i think about other people you know even when people don't think that i do you know what i'm saying cuz a lot of people might not a lot of people might disagree with that and say nah you just think about yourself but i if that's not true because i think i don't think about people personally you know what i'm saying i think about people in a in a in, in like like on a wide scope of people so sometimes a lot of people like they might be like oh you know you just think about yourself or you only care about yourself because i don't personally like you know i don't show it personally you know what i'm saying but when i think when i do things i think about how it's going to affect like the world like a worldly like a worldly place you know what i'm saying like you know so um and then also you know i like i said i i i believe you know i don't do things for i don't allow things to dictate how i do my th- my thing you know what i'm saying i do my thing and what i feel is right is right and i continue on that path you know what i'm saying and i don't allow things to sway me from that so that's why i feel like i'm a good person like foundationally but then i do fucked up shit too you know what i'm saying like i i could do you know what i mean but foundationally like as a as like the base of me is good you know what i'm saying Yo, gentlemen, shout out to everybody that's in the live chat. This is off the cuff. This ain't been rehearsed. Nothing is written down. I called China Mac. We set this up like two, three days ago. He texted me. He said, you want to go now? I said, let's go now. So this is unrehearsed. Now, China Mac, are you grateful for where China Mac is today, February 1st, 2023? Versus looking back at some of his darker moments, did you ever envision yourself being where you are? So it's a two-part question. Are you grateful and happy for where you are? And then the second question is, did you ever see yourself being a worldwide influencer? I'm definitely grateful for where I am today. You know what I mean? Even though I'm not where I'm, you know, want to be, you know what I'm saying? Or not saying where I want to be. I'm not where I... I I would I would have thought I would have been at this point. You know what I mean? Because I always, you know, I always thought that, you know, I would attain great things, greatness. You know what I'm saying? I just always thought that about myself. But I'm definitely grateful for where I've come because, you know, just like in one in one breath, like I knew that I was destined for greatness. There was another part of me, right, like on the same breath. That I wouldn't, that I didn't think I could attain it, or I didn't think that I deserved it, or I didn't think that I would allow myself to do it. You know what I mean? Because I self sabotage so much as a kid, as as a young person, and as a as a young adult, I self sabotage because low key, I just you know, even with the confidence that you know I I display in my um, exterior, you know what I'm saying? My interior, you know, I second guess myself. You know what I'm saying? I second guess if I even deserve greatness, if even if I deserve to live like, you know, like, like to, to attain that because, you know, as a kid, everybody told me that I wasn't shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody told me that, you know, I wasn't smart enough or I wasn't this enough. Or I wasn't that enough. I wasn't this enough. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, you know, that, that was just came with the Asian family. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like my mom used to just always tell me I wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? And um any self hatred, China Mac? Any self hatred? Huh? Self hatred? Yeah, I guess. As, as a young kid. Yeah, cause I cause yeah, cause everybody told me I wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? So you know, you get told enough, you get told something enough, you gonna start believing that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I used to look at myself like, damn, why, you know like that and and you know it 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 would it would dictate how i look at myself are you uh now did you ever see yourself do you do you like what china mac is did you ever see yourself having the influence the worldwide influence that you have i always thought that when you was in sing sing when you was in 
you know what I'm saying? Uh, Greenhaven, when you was in all these places, right? Because did you see yourself like making a living being an influencer? Like I said, I always saw that I could do it, but I never knew that it would happen. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I always knew, like yo, I always said that I'm great. Like I'm a like I'm like I have greatness in me. I always felt like that. You know what I mean? I used to tell my mom that, and she just look at me like, well, "Humble yourself." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be like, "Ma, I, I really feel like, you know, I'm destined for something great." You know what I'm saying? I used to tell her that as a kid, and she used to just tell me to shut up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, no, no, I'm not trying to downplay her, but that's just how Asian. How age like again back to the Asian culture? That's that's just what was you know what was in the Asian culture. So she, that's what she gave me. But I always knew that. But then I just never knew that it that I could do it. You know what I'm saying? That you could believe something, but then you can also not believe it in the same sentence, like in the same breath. Like you could believe that you could do it, but you could also believe that you won't do it. You understand? Yeah, yeah, it was doubt. If China Mac, when China Mac, or if China Mac has a son, or when you have a son, what are you going to do different with your son? I'm going to do a lot different. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? A, a lot different. Uh, you know, I'm going to start off with just, you know what I mean? Just um, being a, a great teacher to my son. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, and, 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 and taking the responsibility to be the teacher instead of letting somebody else be the teacher. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's a lot of problems that we, we like a lot of parents have like. System and shit like that. Yeah, they pass, they, they, they look at it as everybody else's responsibility, you know, when nobody's going to be a better teacher than yourself. And a lot of us, you know, we, 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 we think that, we think that we don't take the time out to educate ourselves to be better teachers so that we can guide them. So we just pass it. All right, let them do it. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's something that, you know, I would definitely do different. Um, you got a book you're writing? You hear me? Somebody yeah, call me. That. You can hear me? Yeah. Shit went black. Let, let me put my... You can hear me? We still good? I can still hear you, but the screen is black. We can't see you no more. Damn. Um, you, um, got a, you, you got a book coming out. Yeah, let me let me try to... Uh, let me try to get back in. What happened? Somebody called you and shit? This is live TV, y'all. This is live TV. Unscripted, unrehearsed. Hey, yo, all I do is win and Mr. Air, Air Nike 8. Y'all y'all niggas need to chill, man. Before I have my man hit y'all upside the head with the wrench. China Mac, you still there? Oh, he left. All right, y'all, so that's going to conclude the interview. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.